All right, y'all, we back to explore some of this ocean that has barely been discovered, all right? The next video we're getting into, man, is this discovery underwater scare scientists. So if you knew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and run the likes up. Let's check this out. From the dark depths of the ocean to the crystal clear lakes to the raging rivers and beyond, water is an ever-present force that shapes our world. Water is an essential part of life, yet it is also mysterious and full of unknowns. Its mysteries have been the subject of countless stories, films, and books, and yet we still know so little about what lies beneath its depths. From the mythical creatures of ancient lore to sunken ships and lost civilizations, here History. are 20 bizarre things found underwater nobody can explain. Number 20, an aquatic Stonehenge. Lake Michigan Stonehenge is an enigmatic megalithic structure made up of huge rocks weighing approximately 50 tons each. It is arranged in a perfect circle, but the stones are not connected as one would expect. For many years, the origin and purpose of these stones have remained a mystery. In 2007, Mark Holly and his colleague Brian Abel discovered the site 40 feet below the surface of Lake Michigan. Using a sonar-equipped ship, they found a series of stones that around Roused their curiosity. However, when they sent divers down to take photographs, they were disappointed. Holly described the stones as eerie and creepy, and the feeling of swimming through an empty lake surrounded by stones was frightening. One of the photographs taken at the site showed an ancient engraving of a mastodon, an animal thought to have gone extinct 10,000 years ago. This has raised questions about who could have built the monument, and why. Holly expects that a computer model of the monument in the Mastodon Rock would assist petroglyph experts in deciding whether the features were naturally carved or if they were carved during ancient times. But for now, Lake Michigan Stonehenge remains an intriguing mystery. Now it's time for the cool thing about divers, man. You know what I mean? I just wish I was like one of those deep sea divers and stuff like that. Or divers that go down to like the bottom of the lake. I just ain't with that. <laughs> it's like he said, traveling through that, that's gotta be one of the scariest feelings ever. Star topic. Do you think that dinosaurs could still exist today? Absolutely. If your answer is no, then this video might just change your mind. This is the footage of an ocean oil rig underwater camera in the Pacific Ocean, and it will make the hair on the back of your neck what stand up. At first, you can see a few fish swimming, and then a massive mosasaur follows. Mosasaurs were fearsome marine predators that lived during the Cretaceous period. They had insanely powerful jaws lined up with sharp, serrated teeth, strong tail muscles, and flippers that enabled them to move quickly through the water in pursuit of prey. They were apex predators and formidable hunters, capable of taking down prey much larger than themselves. They were almost the fiercest aquatic creatures to have ever lived on Earth. Imagine if they are coming back. Forget about going to the beach ever again, and every single boat and ship will have massive weaponry to protect themselves against these beasts. Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and let us- You ever answer a question and you answer the question, but in the back of your mind, you hoping it never comes true? That's how it was answering that question. Do you think dinosaurs still roam the earth? Yeah. But you're hoping in the back of your mind that you never have to see that actually be true. Ah, seeing that tape right there, bro, that's scary to know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that being said, let's keep things moving. Number 19, the Yonaguni Complex. The Yonaguni Monument is a large underwater rock structure located off the coast of Japan's Yonaguni Island. It's believed to be the remnants of a sunken city or temple complex that is estimated to be over 8,000 years old. The monument consists of several large terraces and columns, as well as a number of steps and other structures that appear to have been deliberately constructed. The Yonaguni Monument has been the subject of much debate, with some scientists arguing that it is a natural formation and others claiming that it is of human origin. 
The monument's age has been estimated to be somewhere between 5,000 and 8,000 years old, making it one of the oldest known structures of its kind. Its size wow. and complexity have also led to speculation that it may have been part of a larger complex or city. It is an amazing structure and a fascinating archaeological site, and if it is man-made, then it's the only reminder we have of a forgotten, advanced ancient civilization that once flourished in this region and the incredible engineering and architectural feats they were capable of achieving. Its sheer size and complexity makes it a popular tourist destination and an important site for researchers and scientists. Its age and mystery have also made it a source of endless fascination and debate. Number 18. Long Lost Locomotives Located 90 feet below the waters off the coast of New Jersey lies a mysterious train graveyard discovered by chance in 1985 by Paul Helper when he was mapping the bottom of the ocean with a magnometer. I didn't know what it was at first because the water was dirty and the visibility was so bad back then, he told the newspaper. Once I got a better look at it in later dives, I could see they were locomotives. What he found were two rare Planet Class 222T That's models, crazy. which were made for power, but obsolete almost as soon as they were produced. Oh. Weighing around 15 tons each and self-contained, these locomotives were much smaller than their counterparts of the time, which weighed around 35 tons. The mystery surrounding the two sunken steam engines remains unsolved. There are no historical records of them being lost, and there is no record of the engines being built at all. It is possible that the records pertaining to the engines engines had been lost in an accident or never existed to begin with. The locomotives remain undisturbed in their watery graveyard, but they have been surrounded by experts in spite of the murky waters. It is a unique and mysterious discovery and a reminder that the oceans hold many secrets that remain to be discovered. Facts. A lot of secrets in history, man. That's why when that technology is built to be able to start discovering things at the bottom, just watch what we find. Number 17. The Bimini Road. Bimini Road. The Bimini Road is a mysterious stone structure located in the shallow waters off the coast of Bimini in the Bahamas. It is believed to be the remains of an ancient road, with some speculating that it is the legendary lost city of Atlantis. At around 600 feet long, the Bimini Road is posed of a large limestone blocks that are arranged in an orderly fashion, resembling a road. It is believed to have been built by a prehistoric civilization, possibly the Atlanteans, and has been dated to approximately 3,000 years ago. There is also evidence that the structure is man-made, with some researchers claiming that it might have been a ceremonial causeway or pier. In addition to its mysterious Up appearance, here. the Bimini Road is also surrounded by many myths and legends. Some believe that the structure is a gateway to the lost city of Atlantis, while others believe that it was made by a different ancient civilization. The Bimini Road is an intriguing mystery that continues to fascinate people around the world. Its strange appearance and the many myths and legends associated with it make it a unique and fascinating structure. While the exact purpose of the structure remains a mystery, it is clear that the Bimini Road is a fascinating piece of history that deserves further exploration. Hmm. Number 16. The Baltic Sea Anomaly the Baltic Sea Anomaly is a mysterious object located at the bottom of the Baltic Sea off the coast. It's not even an object no more. At this point, we've talked about it so much, it's pretty much a landmark. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Coast of Sweden. It was first discovered in 2011 by a group of Swedish divers and has since been studied by multiple groups of researchers. The anomaly has been observed to be around 200 feet in diameter and has been estimated to be 200 to 400 feet in depth. The object has been speculated to be a UFO, sunken ship, or even an ancient artifact. However, the most likely- Yeah, I think it is too. And I I hate the fact that we're just leaving it there. We haven't removed it or anything or, or tried to cut it out or away from anything if it's attached or whatever we needed to do. Because I feel like, I don't know, man, it could be strategically placed there by unknowns. You know what I mean? It could be. And they waiting for the right time and then all of a sudden it powers up and comes out the water and they use it as another weapon. The explanation is that it is a large, naturally occurring rock formation. The anomaly has been examined by geologists and acoustic surveys have been conducted to analyze its structure and composition. 
The anomaly has also been the subject of, numer of numerous conspiracy theories. The most popular of these is that it is a crashed UFO from an extraterrestrial civilization. However, there is no evidence to support this claim. Despite the mystery surrounding the anomaly, it has become an attractive tourist destination, with multiple tour companies offering diving trips to the site. These tours allow visitors to explore the anomaly, take pictures, and learn more about it. Its origin and purpose remain unknown, but the popularity of the anomaly as a tourist destination is a testament to its enduring allure. While the mystery of the Baltic Sea anomaly may never be solved, it is sure to remain an intriguing and captivating topic. It could be an underwater facility for all we know at this point. Number 15, Ancient Roman City Found Underwater. The ancient city of Baie, located in the Italian region of Campania, was a popular tourist destination during the Roman Empire. It was a luxurious resort town, with many Roman emperors and wealthy patricians visiting to enjoy its thermal baths, gambling, and other entertainment activities. Think something like Las Vegas, but it's in ancient Rome. Cool, huh? The city was even known as the Roman Riviera due to its beautiful beaches and stunning views of the bay, but today it lays 13 feet under the sea. The most famous attraction in Baie was the Temple of Mercury, built in honor of the god of trade and commerce. The temple was also home to a large statue of the god, which is said to have been given to the city by the Emperor Nero. Baie was famous for its luxurious villas, many of which were built by the emperors themselves. One such example was the Villa of the Papyri, built by Julius Caesar, which was home to a large library of Greek and Latin texts. Despite its beauty and luxury, Baie was eventually destroyed by a series of volcanic eruptions in the 15th century. Today, uh. the ruins of the city can still be seen in the waters of the Bay of Naples. Number 14. The Sunken Submarine the Royal Australian Navy submarine HMAS A31 was carrying 35 crew members from Australia, Britain, and New Zealand when it tragically sank near Rabaul on the island of New Britain on September 14, 1914. The submarine had been sent to the area to search for German vessels, but it disappeared without a trace and the cause of the sinking is still unknown. The submarine had been sent as part of an allied naval force to search for German vessels in the region. It left Sydney on the 4th of September and it had been due to arrive at Rabaul on the 13th of September. However, it never arrived and was declared missing on the 19th of September. The loss of the submarine was a major blow to the Royal Australian Navy, and the search for the vessel lasted for many years. In December of 2017, the wreck of the HMAS A31 was finally located by a team of Australian oh. and New Zealand researchers, providing closure to the families of the 35 crew members. The HMAS A31 was the first Allied submarine to be lost in World War I, and its sinking is a reminder of the sacrifices made by its brave crew. The wreck of the submarine Marine is now a protected archaeological site and a memorial to the crew members who lost their lives. Number 13. Oldest Intact Shipwreck Welcome to the oldest shipwreck in Intent. the world. Maritime scientists have recently discovered an incredible, historically significant shipwreck at the bottom of the Black Sea. The world's oldest intact shipwreck, dating back to 400 BC. Yo. Found off the coast of Bulgaria in late 2017, the 75-foot-long wooden vessel has been mostly undisturbed for over 2,400 years due to the anoxic water surrounding it. This discovery is revolutionary, changing our our understanding of shipbuilding and seafaring in the ancient world. The remarkable condition of the ship was preserved by the lack of oxygen in the water, preventing the usual organisms that consume wood and other materials from living there, kind of like a gigantic pickle jar. This mm. has resulted in a stunningly preserved ancient vessel with its mast and rowing benches still intact. Further analysis reveals that this ship is likely a Greek trading vessel that is incredibly similar to the one depicted on the famous Siren Vase, which dates back to 408. I wonder if any of those treasures, which they probably, you know, they, they checked. <laughs> I was going to say, I wonder if any of those treasures are still down there. 
But you know they looked. Mighty BC, and features Odysseus tied to the mast of his galley, as described in Homer's legendary poem, The Odyssey. This is an unprecedented and extraordinary find, providing a unique window into the past. Number 12. Mysterious cone-shaped monument found beneath the Sea of Galilee. A colossal stone structure has been discovered beneath the surface of the Sea of Galilee in Israel, leaving archaeologists perplexed as to its purpose and age. The structure is cone-shaped, constructed of unhewn basalt cobbles and boulders, and weighs an estimated 60,000 tons, significantly more than most modern-day warships. The movement reaches a height of 32 feet and has a diameter of approximately 230 feet, twice the size of the outer stone circle at Stonehenge. Similar structures, known as cairns, have been discovered in other parts of the world and are often used to mark burial sites. Whether this particular monument served its purpose or not is still unknown. The structure was first detected in 2003 during a sonar survey of the southwest portion of the Sea of Galilee and divers have since descended to investigate. They say it is definitely human-made and probably was built on land. The age and purpose of the structures remains a mystery and the debate continues among archaeologists. It could be an ancient burial site, a religious movement, a religious monument, or a piece of forgotten history. The structure is likely to remain shrouded in mystery until further research is conducted and answers are finally revealed. Number 11. Ghost Fleak of Truck Lagoon the ghost fleet of Truk Lagoon is a remarkable underwater graveyard located in the federal states of Micronesia. It is home to more than 60 sunken ships and aircraft from World War II, most of which were part of the Imperial Japanese Navy's combined fleet. This site is a popular destination for divers and underwater photographers as it provides an incredible range of wrecks, artifacts, and marine life. Wow. An underwater museum, if you will. The ghost fleet of Truk Lagoon was the result of Operation Hailstone, a two-day U.S. Navy air and submarine assault in February 1944 that destroyed over 60 ships and nearly 300 aircraft. The wrecks range in size from small aircraft to large warships, with some of the most popular wrecks being the Fujikawa Maru cargo ship, the Nippo Maru tanker, and the San Francisco Maru cargo ship. The Fujikawa Maru is one of the most well-preserved wrecks in the lagoon and is surrounded by some of the most beautiful coral formations in the area. The wrecks are home to a variety of marine life, from colorful fish to large Napoleon wrasse and even giant mantas. It is also a great place to find art artifacts from the war, such as guns, shells, and equipment. This place is a unique and fascinating reminder of the destruction of war juxtaposed with thriving marine life. Number 10. Underwater crazy. River you won't find this river on any maps, and no tourist has ever done a selfie in front of it. Why? Well, because this strange river is located underwater. The Monterey Canyon is an awe-inspiring submarine canyon located off the coast of California. It has been shaped by a bizarre underwater river created over millions of years by the movement of tectonic plates and the erosive force of the ocean. This deep canyon is almost 6,000 feet. Just looking at that thing, I'm getting paranormal vibes. It's just, it just looks eerie. No, no thank you. Deep and spans dozens of miles, making it one of the deepest canyons in the world. The Monterey Canyon is home to a wide variety of marine life. You can't even see half of this person's body. That half of the body is, look at the body. You can't see half of it. No, 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 no. I need to see all of my body and everybody else's body and everything that's going on around me. If I can, it's time to go up. What's the motion for take me back up top? From deep sea creatures like anglerfish and octopuses to more shallow dwelling creatures like sea otters and dolphins, this is an important habit for many species, providing them with a safe space to feed, find shelter, and reproduce. Scientists study the Monterey Canyon to gain insight into the ocean's ecosystems and the impacts of climate change. Submarines, submersibles, and remotely operated vehicles are used to explore and collect data from the canyon's depths. This helps researchers to better to understand the secrets hidden in the depths of the Monterey Canyon and how to protect this valuable marine resource. Bro, it looks like nothing but death is surrounding. Even the, the limbs of the trees or whatever branches, 
They look, they look dead. You got some fog at the bottom. It just gives it that look. Everything screams death at looking at that. No, no thank you. Free Canyon and how to protect look, look, this valuable look. marine resource. Just Number nine, underwater circles. This In little, 1995. This little dude here is famous, man. <laughs> A group of divers observed a stunning and mesmerizing circular pattern on the ocean floor off Japan. Immediately after the photos were made public, lots of people liking them to underwater crop circles. Nope. These geometric formations would appear and then disappear, leaving researchers perplexed. And for more than a decade, nobody knew what made them. Eventually- Just a little fish trying to set the ambiance for his lady. That's what's going on here. You know what I mean? You know how it is when you invite them up. You want everything to be just right. You got to set the mood, set it up, make sure it's flowing. What they call feng shui. I know I didn't say that word right, but that's what that's what he's trying to do. They found the artist behind the circles. It was a newly discovered species of pufferfish. They are called Torquigena pufferfish, and with their ability to create mesmerizing circles in the sand, they have captivated the imaginations of divers and biologists alike. But why do they do it? The answer, well, as it turns out, is quite simple. The circles are part of the mating ritual for the species. The male pufferfish will fan out the sand with their fins, creating ridges and valleys, and then swim around the circles to attract a mate. Things we do for women. The circles, which can reach up to six feet in diameter, are a beautiful and unique display of the pufferfish's affection. But the circles aren't just beautiful. They can also be quite funny. For example, if you were to look closely at the circles, you could see that the pufferfish are actually playing a game of follow the leader. The pufferfish who is the leader of the game is usually the one who has the most colorful and intricate pattern. Number eight, okay. 13,000 year old human skull. The 13,000 year old human skull found in Hoyo Negro in Mexico is one of the oldest known human remains in the Americas and provides a fascinating glimpse into the lives of the ancient people who lived there. The skull was discovered in 2007 in a deep underwater cave and is believed to have belonged to a teenage girl. The skull is exceptionally well preserved and has allowed researchers to gain a better understanding of the people of that time and has answered questions about the origins of the New World's first people. Naya, as she has been nicknamed, has proved that the Ice Age humans that first crossed into the Americas from Siberia to Alaska did in fact give rise to modern day Native American populations. A hypothesis that was questioned for a long time, but now has been proven with Naya's DNA. Naya is thought to have been around 15 or 16 years old when she entered the cave, probably looking for fresh water, and fell to her death into an inescapable trap 30 meters deep, a bell-shaped pit called Hoyo Negro, meaning black hole in Spanish. There, she stayed entombed for eons in a deeply submerged cave chamber until she was discovered again. Number 7 military tanks. The military tanks hidden beneath Pool Bay are a remarkable reminder of World War II and the men and women who bravely fought in it. The tanks were originally part of a secret exercise to prepare for a possible German invasion of the area, and they were placed in the bay in 1943. The tanks were left undisturbed for over 75 years and were only recently discovered by a team of divers who were exploring the area. They were in remarkable condition, with their engines and guns so still intact. Yeah, it was an amazing fight and one that proved a unique insight into the military tactics used during the war. The exact circumstances of how the tanks ended up in Pool Bay are not fully understood or known, but it is believed that the tanks were either sunk intentionally or due to a navigational error. Look like it was sunk. The way it's preserved gives me the vibes of like it was sunk intentionally. You know what I'm saying? Like they had some type of strategy they was going to use with these. I don't know how or what, but. The tanks are now being preserved as a memorial to the brave soldiers of World War II. The tanks are an important reminder of the importance of preserving our history. So next time very, you visit Pool very. Bay, maybe you can pay a visit to these incredible World War II machines. No, thank you. Number six, see Moai statues. 
The Moai statue beneath the water in Easter Island is an impressive example of the skill and ingenuity of the Rapa Nui people. The statue stands at 24 feet tall and weighs an estimated 25 tons and is believed to have been carved between 1250 and 1500 CE. The exact purpose of the statue is not known, but it is believed to have been a representation of the ancestor of the Rapa Nui people. It is thought that the statue was carved from volcanic rock and that the Rapa Nui people used ropes, logs, and levers to move it into place. The Moai statue has remained intact beneath the water for centuries. It is believed that the statue sunk some time after the Rapa Nui abandoned the island and its discovery in the 1960s was a remarkable achievement. In recent years, the Moai statue has become a popular tourist attraction and is visited by thousands of people each year. It is a reminder of the importance of understanding the past and of the need to protect our cultural heritage. The Moai statues have puzzled archaeologists for centuries. Their purpose and construction still remain a mystery, and it is believed that the statues may have once been used for religious purposes. Some believe that the statues were meant to be representations of powerful gods or leaders. Number 5. The Cancun Underwater <laughs> Museum are you going on vacation to Mexico soon? After the well, I feel like that's how Dubai is like about to get eventually. Eventually, you're going to be able to go to Dubai and go deep sea diving. You're going to see a bunch of Lambos and stuff like that. Very expensive, high-priced cars just tossed in the water like nobody cares. I feel like that's how much money is out there. So that's what they're eventually going to start doing. Just, oh, well, let it, let it go in the ocean. It'll be all right. Like, seeing that made me think of that. I don't know why. Discovering the Mayan archaeological sites, heavenly beaches, and bustling cities of the country, why not let yourself be tempted by the adventure of diving? Indeed, Mexico lends itself perfectly to the discovery of the seabed. And if there is one place in particular that marks travelers, it is the Cancun Underwater Museum, also called Musa. What is it about? As its name suggests, it is a museum located under the sea, accessible only by diving. It is located off Cancun, a tourist destination located in the southeast of Mexico in the Yucatan Peninsula. <laughs> it is possible to get there only by boat, since it is located near the island of Isla Mujeres. This museum is a non-profit organization that works for the conservation of the marine environment. However, the attractions of the Cancun Underwater Museum are not only in the many and gorgeous marine species living there, but also in the sculptures that make up the museum. Here, you can discover nearly 500 sculptures arranged in several galleries at different depths. These sculptures represent a crowd of men and women standing or in scenes of life. Their feet are placed in the sand while their body, staged by actions or expressions, have been gradually covered by algae. Fascinating or disturbing, these sculptures leave no one indifferent. The visit to this museum promises to be both poetic and mysterious. Number 4. Cleopatra's Sunken Palace over 1400 years ago, a powerful earthquake and a devastating tsunami struck the city of Alexandria, Egypt. This event destroyed the island of Antirhodos, which was home to Queen Cleopatra's majestic palace, a symbol of her power and authority. Alexander the Great founded the city of Alexandria in 332 BC, and it was under Greek occupation for three centuries until Cleopatra took the throne. She was a full-blooded Greek and the last pharaoh of Egypt. She she devoted her reign to creating alliances with Roman leaders, but ultimately chose to take her own life when she feared Roman invasion was imminent. The earthquake and tsunami that sunk the island of Antirhodos occurred centuries after Cleopatra's death, submerging her palace beneath 10 meters of murky water in a bay near the city shore. It was not until the 1990s that the palace was rediscovered. When French archaeologist Frank Gaudio came across the writings of a Greek historian named Strabo, Strabo's writings gave detailed descriptions of Alexandria and the island of Antirhodos, as well as Queen Cleopatra's palace. Today, the ruins of Cleopatra's palace still remain beneath the sea of Alexandria. Diving trips to the sunken island offers visitors a chance to explore the ruins and marvel at the remains of this once mighty palace. Nice. Number three. Nice. Heraklion City. 
The ancient city of Heraklion was once a thriving port city located in the Mediterranean Sea. It was believed to have been founded by the demigod Heracles, but the demigod Heracles himself Heracles? was a major hub for, for trade and commerce in the region. Despite its prosperity, Heraklion's fate was a mysterious one. According to the ancient texts, the city suddenly and inexplicably disappeared from the face of the earth. No one knows what caused its disappearance, and it has been lost to time and legend. In the years since, scholars and adventurers have searched for any clues that could lead to the city's location, but all- yeah, how does a whole city just disappear? <laughs> like, whole city? That's- that's weird. Efforts have been in vain. Some have suggested that the city was swallowed up by the sea during a great natural disaster, while others have proposed a more supernatural explanation. Curiously, in the year 2000, a French archaeologist claimed to have discovered the lost city. He supposedly found Heracleon nine meters below the Abokia Bay, about 6.4 kilometers off the coast of Egypt. Experts at an Oxford University conference said the city may have been sunk due to the heavy structures being built on clay. Others believe an extreme flood may have sent this city into the water. That's what I... Number two. That would be my only guess. Earthquake, flood, boom. Gone. Apollo Moon Rocket Engines In March 2013, two monumental rocket engines were discovered under the Atlantic Ocean that has been used to help propel the Apollo astronauts to the moon. The discovery was made by Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, who was leading an expedition to find the engines and recover them from the ocean floor. The engines have been used in the Apollo 11 and Apollo 12 missions, and were part of the Saturn V rocket that launched the astronauts into space. After their mission was complete, the engines fell to the ocean floor, where they remained undisturbed for almost 50 years. Bezos's team located them using sonar technology, and then used a deep-sea robotic vehicle to recover them from the depths. Once the engines were brought to the surface, they were taken to a museum where they are now on permanent display. The discovery of the Apollo moon rocket engines is a reminder of the great accomplishments of the past and the potential for even greater accomplishments in the future. Thanks to advancements in technology, incredible feats like this are now possible. Who knows what will be discovered next? Number one. Like everybody gonna take a page out of Bezos' book, man, and start going out here and finding these discoveries underwater. Taking them and putting them in his museum somewhere. Might be a new little job if you think about it. You know what I mean? Which could yield a lot of money if you, you get some good finds down there. Which we know is down there. Giant shark statue at Lake Neo Chateau in Switzerland. Statue. Are you ready for the scare of your life? Check out this terrifying giant statue of a shark. And where could it's it be so more suitable to put a shark statue than underwater, right? Oh, and the waters are murky with almost zero visibility. That would give you a heart attack to roll up on that. Remember the place we were talking about earlier that looks like it was just a little death valley underwater? Imagine rolling up on this shark down there. Heart couldn't take it. You know, to make things even more eerie. The statue was originally a prop from a 2007 short film called Choc au Lac, meaning Shock at the Lake in French. This rather horrifying shark statue was intentionally left at the bottom of Lake Neuchâtel in Switzerland to mess with scuba divers. I think you would agree that they did achieve what they were looking to achieve. The statue is a very big, mean-looking shark with a monstrous smile, as if it were delighted that it was going to kill you. It has been corroding in the murky waters of the lake ever since they left it there and is now missing a few of its teeth. As you can see, the water keeps a lot of secrets. Who know what the next discovery will be? What about- I don't know, they need to get that shark from up down there, man, before they call somebody to have a heart attack or something. Yeah, they need to move that. That ain't, uh, no. That's not good for anybody's health at all. But um, y'all get at me in the comment section, man, and let me know what y'all thought of some of these underwater discoveries, man. Truly fascinating, I, I promise. But I, I don't know, man, maybe, you want Something in me can spark to become like a deep sea diver, man. I just, I don't know, man. Not until they find out Megalodon is down there. If not, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to be the first to discover them. So maybe no for me. Yep, it's still a no for me. <laughs> but y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And uh, stick around and stay tuned. Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.